There are a lot of species of fish and coral in the reef keeping hobby that rely on a steady source of phytoplankton and zooplankton in order to survive. The zooplankton also act as a cleanup crew and help to reduce the amount of detritus in your aquarium. While super beneficial, keeping your reef tank stocked with phytoplankton and zooplankton can get expensive, with most of the products costing an average of $20 each. Not to mention that a lot of these products contain preservatives in order to keep them fresh. By the time you purchase these products, bring them home, and then feed them to your tank, a lot of times you are unknowingly dumping phosphates into your tank. There are plenty of free videos on the internet that show you how to grow both phytoplankton and zooplankton. The issue is that most of these people grow their phytoplankton, which the zooplankton eat, in plastic bottles. Plastic bottles contain all kinds of chemicals that break down under sunlight, which is exactly the type of light that you use in order to grow phytoplankton. So if you grow it in plastic bottles, your zooplankton, corals, and fish are ingesting harmful chemicals. On top of that, if not grown correctly, you can accidentally culture a bad bacteria that can wipe out your entire reef tank and even cause a cyanobacteria outbreak. So how do you properly grow this stuff and create a renewable source for your reef tank? From 2012 until 2015, we grew this stuff in mass quantities in our aquaculture facility. Here's an easy setup that you can do at home. Now there's a lot more details that go into this process that's way too much to include in this video. So we recently created an affordable online course that will show you step-by-step -step how to set up grow and harvest phytoplankton, copepods, and rotifers. The best part, it will cost you less than one bottle of any of this stuff from the store. Click the link in this video's description in order to purchase the course.